All right, so this is the initial screen that you see, the home screen uh, with nothing else open. You'll see a list of some of your recent projects along the top. And just uh, pay attention to this important distinction here between the projects and the families. In most cases, particularly at this early stage of your uh, Revit career, you're just going to be starting projects. Uh, so just take it easy, slow down. You don't need to start a new family just yet. That's a big decision. Uh, we'll just primarily kind of stay up here in the new projects section. And as you saw, when you clicked on new, it brought up the new project window here and it gave you a list of template files. Now, yours will probably have a few more in it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a step back and show you how you can customize this list. Because we're going to be doing some fairly basic projects at the early stage, all those other templates that it lists, the mechanical and um, some of the other ones that are in there, we will never use those. So we're just going to simplify this and set it up so that we can see the default US Canada template. And the way that we do that is we go to File in the upper left. And when that window pops open, we'll click on Options. And we want to click on File Locations over here on the left about midway down. And the list of templates is here. So I've already simplified mine, and I just want to have that default US Canada one there. So um, we're going to add one, because you're probably not able to see that one. So let's click on the little green plus symbol. And right away, it should take us in our Windows Explorer window here to the location of our library files. If it doesn't, it didn't for me here, I'm going to show you where we find that stuff. So by default, uh, Revit installs all these library files on your C drive. On the C drive, they're under program data, not program files. Intuitively, we always want to go to program files, but it's actually listed under program data. Is anybody not able to see program data in this list? OK, I've got a workaround for you. I'll come back in just a second and explain how to fix that. So I'm going to double click in program data and then to Autodesk. And then use your scroll bar and drop down to RBT 2019. And then within RBT 2019, just double click on templates. And we'll just choose from the Canada folder. We'll be patriotic here. So there's our list of available templates. And all I did is I just chose default US Canada. And that's how it appeared in that list. Now, if you weren't able to see program data, the way that we fix that is we go down here in the bottom left to our little Windows icon. Click on that once, and then just type in Folder Options. And it'll bring up the File Explorer options. And all we have to do here is just click on the middle tab, which is the View tab, and where it says Display the Full Path in the title bar, just make sure below that it says Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. So check that little radio button and it should make the program data folder appear. So uh, are you at this point? You've got File Explorer options? Yeah. Okay. And then just click on the middle tab, View tab, and then just make sure that Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives is selected. Okay, now you can repeat the same steps. So go back in uh, your Revit interface to File in the upper left, Options, File Locations, and then once again, click on that little green plus symbol. And I'll show you the path once again. C drive, program data, Autodesk, RVT 2019, which is Revit 2019. And then click on the templates folder. And then we'll go into the Canada folder and just click on default US Canada. I'm not going to click on it here because it's already in my list. But that's how you add. Uh, additional RTE files, which are the Revit template files, to your list of sort of readily available um, commonly used templates. Now, as I said, we're only going to use this one, so there's really no need for the clutter of all the additional ones in there. If you click on those individual names in that list, you'll then see this little red minus symbol appear. So click on a name, click on the red minus symbol, and it'll get rid of that so that you're left with just the default US Canada template. So the other things we want to set up, uh, we can do by just clicking here on the Places button. 
So that just gives us some quick access to our the template, the one that we're going to use over and over again. And if we click on places, uh, we'll want to make sure, this is probably set up already, but just ensure that your metric library and your metric detail library are set to these locations. So all this does is, as I mentioned, there will be times where we have to load in a door or a window or a structural element. And we want to make sure that the window that comes up at that point is right at the spot on our C drive where those files exist. If, we're, if you're trying to follow along, it's really easy, only with a 20 second delay of going hunting around your machine looking for files, to kind of get left behind a little bit and then you're struggling to keep up. So just to keep things moving quickly, you'll want to make sure that you have your metric library in particular. We won't really be doing too much with metric detail library yet, but for sure your metric library, uh, I want to make sure that that location is uh, what you see here. C program data, Autodesk RBT 2019, libraries Canada, and then uh, you'll see all the folders for windows and doors and everything else. If you weren't able to get 2019 installed, it's fine to just use Revit 2018. So that would have been installed from when your machines were given to you a year ago. So that'll work fine just for our initial demos, okay?